here. I'm here. Right here. Alright. Here. Bandit's not with us today. No, he's not. He's like running he's around watching like crazy from afar. or something. Hello everyone. Hi everybody. I'm Steve. And I'm Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Yes it is. Welcome or welcome back. Welcome everybody. Happy Wednesday. Yes, happy Way in Wednesday. Wednesday. Dun dun dun! <laughs> It really is a dun 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 kind of thing. Oh, <laughs> yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. So, oh well, I mean, you know, I I don't know. I don't know how to rationalize it. I don't or know. Justify it. Why don't or... we just call ourselves body positive? We're body. We positive. are body positive because when you gain weight, you gotta justify it somehow. Yes, that is true. We are body positive. Admittedly enough, I think for both of us, I. Honestly, I, I didn't try real hard. I You know what? I gave myself the excuse because last week I said, oh, you know what? I'm waiting until I'm ready and I'm really going to do it. And I am. I am yeah. going to do it. And the prendazone next week, I'll be down to the low dose and yeah. all that. But that gave me an excuse to not watch what I was eating. I and I did a couple times this week. I uh, ate more than I wanted to. Mm. But you really got to take your health more seriously. I do. You know, I know. Like, I just I gotta say, hey, these help you lose weight, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, you know how fat I'd be without them. I know. If I quit smoking, I'd blow up. I know. I you, probably we're would. gonna get demonetized. You can't talk about promoting tobacco. No, they, I don't. Promote they kill it. you. It says so on the box. I do not. It says so on the smoking. box. No. I don't. We are body don't. positive. We are not diseased lung positive. Right, but I'm still down to. Uh, a pack and a half. So yeah. next week I'm supposed to go down to one pack, and that's when I'm gonna start. Yeah. Telling you know like being accountable when yeah. saying because I think I'm gonna actually stop at one pack though for a for a bit. Yeah. Because I never wanted to completely quit. I I did want to get it under control though. So I'm not stopping. I'm not cutting back. Um, okay. As, well, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's your choice. That's my prerogative at the moment. Um, as far as weigh-ins go. Now, Thanksgiving came and went. People gained weight over the holidays. I probably yeah, didn't do. do too bad on Thanksgiving because it was one... Okay, it was the night before, too. It was Wednesday <laughs> night, and then it was Thanksgiving Day. And then yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I was okay. Yeah, was, you were good. I was on the keto bandwagon. Yeah. And then yesterday was such a mental mind F up of a day as you guys know yeah we share and it. thank you for all your feedback and, yeah. and support and, oh, and you. that you can relate to it it helps me not feel like a freak when i heal because yeah. you know you're not alone you know you're not the only person in the world that but feels this feels way. That way there's tomes written about it and support groups and whole national yeah, organizations yes. yeah but yeah. still when you feel that way you're like no one else feels like this i know i'm and, a freak and it it treads into self-pity real fast mm -hmm. so hearing some of the feedback took the knees out from under the self-pity and it was like you're just dealing with something that other people deal with and it's you'll true. be fine and pull yeah. up your bra strap and you know it'll be good so today i sucked it all up and i went to work and i was i wasn't really feeling better to be frank but i was functional yeah so functional. you got a lot done it was a very busy day too very busy yeah i had a very busy morning and then the afternoon flew because i had a meeting about whatever but i digress i got fatter because yesterday I just carb loaded. Yeah. I was like, as long as we're, I did the absolute worst thing you're supposed to do when you break a diet. It's like, well, as long as I did it a little bit, let's go whole hog. Plus, it was emotional eating too. And totally it was emotional to make eating. Make you feel better. Totally. And, I was and like, no, it 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 happens, and it's a it, it's something to learn learn from too. You know, like I mean, it really is because yeah. I wasn't feeling all that bad as he was yesterday. I, I shared some things that I was experiencing over the last month or two, but I'm kind of got that under control. But because he gave himself permission, I'm like, okay, why not? You will too. So I had an extra cookie last night and I put frosting on it. I had three extra cookies that I put frosting on. Okay, I didn't do three, but... And I had something else with it too. Oh, a piece of cake. Oh, you had a cake? And too? for dinner I had stuffing with mashed potatoes. Oh, boy. <laughs> and tortellini cream soup. And something else. That's a lot of carbs. What else did I have? I had popcorn. <laughs> I had mostly carbs. I was eating like I was going to the electric chair. Yeah. I mean, it was, or like I was going to go run a marathon. Even marathon runners don't eat, don't carb load that much. Yeah. But I was just, I just wanted to feel better. I know. And, you know, failing all other vices, that's what was at my disposal. And it, so it happens, you know. And it did it, happen. As yeah. Most people know, too. Yeah. It happens to a lot of you. I mean, it happens. And... 
So since last week, I gained four pounds. I oh, was yes. 184 last week, and um, that was prior to Thanksgiving, prior to, to emotional, mental meltdowns that I've self-medicated with food. Mm -hmm. And I'm 188. 188. Mm -hmm. Even. They were both even for whatever reason. So it was Mine's a, even today, too. It was an it was even weird. four pounds that I put on. Yeah. Uh, with keto, I've been told that you hold water weight more when you put carbs in. But let's just cut to the bottom line here. I ate a lot of damn food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ate a lot of damn food. And I gained weight. I mean, that's really the mechanics of it, yeah. really. So um, I don't feel like eating keto again <laughs> today, either. Well, I think that's all. a decision you have to make, you know, if you want to stay on it or if you don't want to stay on it. You know, I mean, no one's, you. it's your decision. I mean, and... in my head, the bigger decision today is do I want to continue to comfort eat for another day? Yeah. Do I want to just say, because right now would be a really cozy time to just bury my head in the sand and just count things. Like, how many carbs? How many calories? Oh, how many I this? See. Because my mind is swimming in other stuff and it's a nice, neat way to just bury yourself into something that is minuscule, does not matter, but takes up a lot of your thinking time. Yes. You know. Yes. Makes you a very good ostrich that way. But you gain. You well, gain? you have to... Well, you just have to decide that, you know. I'll and, decide later. Yeah. I'm you know, thinking I want carbs again. It's not like this is the end of the world. I mean, I... I, I for myself, I know that I am going to be losing weight soon. I know that I am. Um, I know that I keep procrastinating and putting it off, but I am trying to make sure that everything is aligned right for when I start. Yeah. All the stars have to be in alignment. The moon has to be in a certain phase. The... Yeah. You know what I mean. I, I can't diet on a Tuesday. Any day that ends in day isn't a good day to start. I have to wait till after Groundhog Day. Yes. Um, so I don't even know why I'm weighing in with everybody because I'm not officially trying to lose weight. But when I... Uh, we're going to we're gonna see how fat we get before, before we start Before we again. start, right? I know, right? But no, I am. I am. And then I am actually going to keep track and I'm going to tell everybody what I'm doing to lose weight and what's working and what's not working because I am going to do it. I, I'm not doing keto, but I, no. I, I know what I I'm think I'm going to go back to doing a reduced calorie diet. I yeah. lost 90 pounds on the reduced you did. calorie diet. You did I lost very five well on, on keto. You, you did so, very well. Now, you started at a lower weight on keto, too. I did, and I've been enjoying having heavy cream sauces and ground beef and yeah, burgers good, But and you could chicken. still have that. Just less of just it. Just less of it. I know. But I was 184 last week. You were not 184 oh, that's last you. week. I love you at any size, but you were not 184 last week. <laughs> I was 203.5 last week. I am 205 even this week. Eh. Two pounds more. Eh. Eh. It is what it is, you know. I am unhappy with my size and the way I feel, you know. Yeah. So I, it will reach a point where I just will not take it anymore and I will start. So. Yeah. See, but, I don't I don't give a flying F right now. So I know, but that's your So I don't see it. Yeah, like oh, body, oh, body. I don't, you it's not like it's not like you cheat one night and boom, oh my goodness. It is you to me though. Pin. I can sometimes I know, see it. But when I'm that's in this kind of part of it. When I'm like, eh, screw it, it's I don't see it because I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. The day I, I decide to care, I'm going to see it everywhere. I'm right. going like this, and going like this, and going like this. Like it matters. On other subjects, other than weight loss. On other happier subjects. <laughs> oh, I finally, I did get a new phone, finally. Yeah. And why I'm bringing that up is because in the, pro, in the last few, in trying to get it to work, you know, and getting mm. everything switched over to this one and that and forgetting all the passwords that I have on, I have, I've become very behind mm. on, 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 on emails and messages and instant messenger. I can't even figure out how to get it to work on this phone. Mm -hmm. And I cut my service off on my last one. So I can't even get on instant messenger right now. All I can see is how many there are. And there's like, I, there was, 13 unread messages on messenger mm -hmm. so i start to get all panicky and i'm like oh my god and it's on my mind my, my, my. but anyway i'm getting there yeah i'm getting there all the emails are set up all of our smoky steven mark accounts are set all that's mm -hmm. done so it'll happen it's not the end of the world it will happen but i am a little behind on I know. commenting and everything but i did read all the comments from the videos and everything but i just haven't gotten to the point where i'm like responding yet so okay. but i will but i will you know that's um, good but 
So I did want to say that. And there's really not much else really going on, you know. Uh, I would say we are better than we were yesterday, even though you still have the case of the, well, efforts. I still have the efforts, but I went through the motions and did my responsibilities for yes. the day. I yes. showed up at work and I did my job. Yes. And I got up. I'm shaving today because this is just too much. Mm -hmm. Um... I like you unshaven. I know you do, but I, I can't do. stand it. I know. The only reason I keep the goatee is because you like it. Aw. See? That's so nice. I can't stand it. It itches so much. I love a goatee. But you ask for very little. So, <laughs> so the goatee stays. <laughs> um, well, that's good. I'm glad. But, I mean, I did... It's I, not like I wouldn't love you if you shaved it off. I know. But I participated in life today, so that was my... Yeah, that, that I did too. Day. I was, I was. No, I've busy. shaved it once in a while, and you didn't freak out or anything. I'm sure you noticed. Oh, I did notice. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't say anything when you grew your hair out, so I figured, right? You know, right. Facial hair on men, I think, is nice. Not big bushy beards, but I, I love no, a nice I don't... trimmed goatee. Unless you're Jason Momoa, then you can wear. Well, you then you can do whatever, whatever the hell you want, you want right? To your right. hair, to me, who? To... <laughs> oh, we have a black. Oh. Uh, I think we're having a shout out. Is that what that means? I believe that is a shout out. I think it is. I think it is too. So, so it is shout out time. We're having a shout out. Who's the who? Okay, today's shout out. Who's it go to? You know who it goes to. All right, today's shout out, randomly picked by Steve's finger with his eyes closed, is Anna. Do I say their last name? Use an initial unless their YouTube name is their full name. Oh, I don't know. All right, I'll use your last initial. Anna R. from Palm Bay, Florida. Anna! <laughs> confetti. <laughs> confetti. I'm trying not to throw it back on our... I guess this is for any, you, Anna! If anything's going to brighten up a blue day, it's confetti. It's yes, confetti. It confetti brightens everything it up. It does. Okay. Now, I didn't write down the date she was added on as a... But I, I believe she's a newer addition to the shout-out list. I'm not sure, though, because I didn't write the date down when we put it on. Mm. But anyway, Anna. Anna, you are from Palm Bay, Florida, as you know. Now... We have some interesting facts about Palm Bay. We do. We do. Palm Bay is a city in Brevard County, Florida, population of about 116,000 people. It's the 18th most populous city in Florida. How about that? Yes. And it's really uh, quite interesting how Palm Bay started. It wasn't originally called Palm Bay, but in the 1850s, uh, the first European settlers built homes along either side of the Tur of Turkey Creek. And the mouth right at the, the mouth of turkey creek is pretty like the most popular place kind of like it's it, that's where it was at that time um and it and growth was very very slow at that point um they only had like a lumber operation a packing house some a couple orange groves until about 1894 when the railroad arrived and then it kind of boomed, really, and it, it became more populous and more businesses open and things like that. Uh, St. Joseph's Church was built in the early 1900s and still stands today on Miller Street as one of the oldest buildings in Palm Bay, oh. still there today. Um, it, it has a history of two very tragic events. 1987 was a shooting on April 23rd, uh, a man named William Cruz shot 16 people, killing six, including a couple college students and a couple policemen, um, at a local shopping center in Palm Day. It made national news. And in 2008, uh, it's referred to as the Mother's Day fires. Um, it destroyed 37 homes mm -hmm. in uh, Palm Bay, and it was uh, attributed to arson, too. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, some famous people from Palm Bay. Um, Bobby Dahl, um, he is the bassist for the rock band Poison. Oh. He is from Palm Bay. Reggie Nelson, of course, football Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. He is from Palm Bay, too. Um, it's, it, it ha it's packed full of interesting things to see, including the Wildlife Turkey Creek Sanctuary, where it houses um, a multitude of endangered plants and animals. Oh. It's very renowned, actually, in the country for um, plants and animals who, who, that are endangered. Um, Florida Tech um, Botanical Gardens. 
I, you know, how I think I've said this before. I love botanical gardens and things like that. Uh, this one is unique because it includes a 30 acre landscape of all palms mm -hmm. in all different varieties. I thought that was pretty cool. And of course, if you're an angler, it's the place to go to fish. To fish. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. And it, it's chock full of theaters, museums, shopping, all of that. It's it's a bustling little city now. Cool. So that's some interesting facts about Palm Bay mm -hmm. and a place I would like to visit, actually. I've never been. I've been to Florida countless times, but I've never been there. Oh. So, Anna. Today? Today. We celebrate We celebrate you. you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. That's that's fantastic. And if you want a shout out, definitely leave your name and where you're from in the comments below and we'll get you on the list, okay? And you'll be entered into our monthly shout out contest where we draw a winner of the people who we shouted out mm -hmm. and you get one of my homemade candle holders, candle holders that I make. And I'm happy to announce too, for those of you waiting, I finally finished the candle holders. They're packed, and they're going out tomorrow. Yeah. That was a long wait, wasn't Thank you it? for your patience. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, disclaimer, six to eight weeks, then I won't be so freaked about it. Yeah. But anyway, so there's that. And on that topic, I think we have to pick the winner for November. We do. We're we in December our, now. We have our monthly yes. winner. Yes. Who gets the candle holder. Yes. So do you want to do it? I, have, yes, I we, put all we of the people in here. We've repurposed the basket basket. Yep. And I put all of the shout outs mm -hmm. uh, people in here, okay? Okay. So I'm going to hold it. Oh, you can't see it anyway. No. All right. So you ready? I'm ready. All right. Ah. Who is it? Uh, Who is see. it? It is Hooby D from Ohio. Hooby! Oh my gosh! Oh, Hoobie. that's so great! I'm so glad it's I have. I miss Hooby. I used to I talk seen to him, him all in a the I know, I haven't yeah. seen him in a little bit. Um, he used to comment all the time. Well, he still does every once in a while, but we used to comment back and forth a lot, and I haven't in a while. Oh, I'm so glad. Hooby, congratulations. Contact me or I'll contact you. You won one of my candle holders. I will have to get your address if you want it. And as always, if you're uncomfortable sharing your street address with us, no big deal. We'll draw a new winner. It's no problem at all. But mm -hmm. congratulations and thank you for being such a great subscriber, too. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm glad it's Hubie. That's yeah. cool. We go back like car seats. He's, I know, right? He, he was a subscriber like a long in the first time ago. Hundred yeah. subscribers yeah, he I think was. we had. Yeah. Oh, I hope he watches this video. If I remember correctly, he like binge watch it. Like, He'll let them all, and then like once a week he'll binge watch them all and yeah. then comment on everything. If I remember right, I don't know though. Hmm. But anyway, well, so that was cool. That's cool. Let's end on a positive. Let's end on a high note. I know. Yeah, me too. I don't want to end by like we're depressed. We're depressed and fat, and we're yeah, gonna, we're, we're gonna, not. We we're gonna cheat winners. It is cheat night. That's a high note. <laughs> It is Wednesday, so it's cheat night. It is cheat night. Bottoms up. OMG. Well, thank you all for watching. Yeah, thank you. Please do subscribe. Hit the like button. You can follow Mark and I on Facebook at Smokey Steve Space and Mark or on Instagram at Smokey Steve and Mark. Our email address and P.O. box, all that information is listed below. Thank you all for watching, and we will catch up with you all tomorrow. Yes, we will. Thanks, everybody. It was Bye. great, great, great spending time with you. Hope everybody's doing well, and we will catch you tomorrow. Ciao, everybody. Bye. Bye. Be positive.